<sighs> Bud Light sponsored Dylan Mulvaney. The most astroturf tranny that has ever fucking existed. The the homosexual transsexual that started out as a fucking joke on TikTok and has now visited the President of the United States, attended red carpet events, showing up on Broadway and whatever. Just the most fake person that has ever lived. Now getting sponsored by the Piss Vasa company, Bud Light. Um, if you ever needed a reason to not drink Bud Light or anything by Anheuser Busch at this point, um, here is your sign. They did not sell these to people. This is like a limited edition can that they gave just to Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, but it did inspire this parody edit. If you don't, if you're a European and you're watching this, you don't know what this is a parody of. Um, there was a very successful. Super Bowl uh in the United States the Super Bowl is is the American football like main event of all the different teams and it's famous not just for being one of the most popular television uh thing events in you know the entire year it's also very famous for having commercials so having a commercial slot in the football in the Super Bowl is one of the most expensive time slots to have an advertisement in American television. So for companies that are going to buy a Super Bowl ad, they invest tons and tons and tons of money and they hire the best writing talent and the best like production teams to make a 30 second ad that is extremely memorable and often very, very funny. And there was a long running uh, uh, Budweiser commercial series called Real Men of Genius. It was just a comedy sketch, and it was like, you do this thing, and you do it so darn well, and you should crack open a Budweiser. In fact, you should crack open two just to celebrate how gosh darn hard you work every day. And that was their big famous Super Bowl ad. Uh, so in response to the, the Bud Light thing, um, this, someone went ahead and put together a parody of that very famous Super Bowl commercial series that they ran. And I'll put that for you now. Budweiser presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Chick with a Lady Penis. Mr. Chick with a Lady Penis. You walk the earth with great hair and an enormous penis. Hung like a horse. You think by over-exaggerating women's mannerisms that you can pass as a real woman, but no one's buying it. We can see the bulge. You wear makeup, take tons of estrogen, and wear designer dresses in hopes you can pass the smell test, but we see through it. Can hide the Adam's apple. So crack open an ice cold Budweiser, Mr. Chick with a dick, and then crack open another for that enormous set of balls. Coconut's biggest church bells. The Dilly Mean Team, Mega for Life. Someone asked me to play this. Um, I will. I don't know what this is. However, I'm gonna go out, someone just randomly shouted at me in chat to play this. And uh, I'm going to take the risk and play it. It might get my ch channel struck because it's a famous advertisement. But we'll see. We'll see if it's actually funny. Sure, whatever. who want to get the most out of their cars. That is fantastic. I believe it's Bridgestone or nothing. I thought he was going to hit him. Oh, did he jump out of the way? I didn't see what happened. The drivers who want to get the most. Oh, he swerved out of the way. 
I thought that the advertisement was when you want to get enough friction on your tires so that you can hit Richard Simmons doing jumping jacks in the middle of the road late at night and get away with it too. Uh, buy these Bridgestone tires. But no, it's not that, unfortunately. Though if they want to re recreate this at, with that, that theme using Dylan Mulvaney instead of Richard Simmons, I'd be all for it. Uh, that that advertisement might appeal to me. I might actually have to buy a Budweiser. God, God forbid. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.